Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 75, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We went through all the, or we went, we went through the last of the bonus content that's available in the Steam version. Uh, it's also available in the Nintendo DS version and the uh, mobile versions on your iPhone and Android devices. Um, <clears throat> There are two other bits of bonus content that are available, but they are not on the Steam port. They're only on the Nintendo DS port and the, uh, maybe the mobile versions. I can't remember if they're in the mobile versions, uh, which is unfortunate because if you remember last time, uh, no, not this guy, uh, his buddy, his buddy in the other time frame uh, who mentioned that he could make some really nice armor with a particular mineral. It turns out that mineral is from one of the uh, rock critters that we kept <laughs> skipping by on our 82 treks up and down the mountain. And so, uh, uh, yeah, I, I really should have been, uh, I should have been fighting those guys each and every time. Because they, they, they get like a 30-40% chance to show up. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's just one of those things that, uh, oh well. So, I'm not, I'm going to take a chance and I'm not going to go hunt those guys down this time. Because I do want to keep, uh, keep on track. And I have, with my luck, it's going to take many, many trips before we, <laughs> we get those guys squared away. Sad to say. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to head on up. We're going to get, uh, we're going to hit the right button. And we're going to go back to the end of time. And we're going to get back to the, uh, the game proper. All right. So let's, uh, debark the ship. Let's hit this thing to make sure that the entire party is healed up. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, what I would need to do is I now have the 307,000 gold to, uh, to spend. Because uh, pretty much from this point on... Oh, doggone it. I shouldn't have left there. Uh, short-term memory, something or other. What we want to do is we want to tie up as much of that money in items, especially items that we want to have access to in the new game plus, or items that'll convert for better money than what we paid for them. Either one will do. So down here in the Lost Sanctum, we had the new who set up shop and would actually sell us some pretty decent gear. Uh, if nothing else, some of the items that you can't really get a hold of have good stuff. Yes, you do, because you have the Mega Elixirs. These are the things that fully restore everybody's everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy <laughs> oh six of them. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Here I am, not paying attention. Okay, so uh, that's not so good. That's not so good. Um, eh, Robo could have benefited from that. You know what? No, I'm not going to worry about the armor and weapons because I want to say there was, there was a reason why I didn't... Uh, buy those when I looked into this last time. Oh, because um, the uh, the helmets that I would have to replace are the ones that prevent all status effects. And right now, the uh, as mu as nice as the defense bonus is, it's not it's not quite good enough to uh, to offset um, to offset the uh, status effects. All right, so let's grab a high ether. Let's grab a potion. 
that leaves us with 341 gold. We could go around selling off some of the unneeded equipment, but honestly, if we're going to do that, we might as well do that, uh, do that later. All right, now we can go back to the end of time. Oh, let's say another cup of coffee. I got one right here. Although it smells like it's been sitting a little while. All right, let's go back to the end of time. Let's get off here. Go ahead and save our game at the end of time. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is I didn't realize this until I was double checking a few things later, but uh, the new game plus bases a lot of stuff off of the contents of your save file. So that means right now I've got that inventory full of consumables. All those potions, mid potions, high potions, yada, yada, yada. And so the contents of my save file right now are what it's going to use when it starts up the new, the new game. So um, I can use as many potions as I need to throughout the next few battles without it being an issue. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do is I do want to switch up the party a little bit. We are going to need somebody with tough, tough physical attacks and some, uh, and, and some decent magic attacks. And I'm going to need a fair amount of healing. Uh, I think for this go around, at least and the way I've got all the, the levels squared away, I'm going to go with Chrono, Frog, and Robo. They've all got decent physical attacks. And they've still got some good magic attacks. And Frog and Robo have Cure Wave. They also have some independent cures that will uh, handle that end of the tech too. Uh, matter of fact, little Cure, cure Wave. Uh, yeah, restores a large amount of hit points to all allies. So they've each got some individual healing that will hit one or more people for some low to middling amounts. And they've also got a decent uh, full party cure between the two of them as well. And they'll, they'll actually be, you know, useful. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I wanted to go in and I've got a... I think it was the magic capsule... 40, 38, 34. Yeah, I want to bump him up to... I don't think any of them needed a strength bump. 94, 94, 98. Yeah, no, none of those guys needed that. I'll save that for later. And speed, 12, 11, 13. Let's go ahead and bump up. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, trying to get used to the new uh, the new panel. This is the first go round streaming uh, exclusively on Twitch. So instead of the restream restream panel that I'm used to, I'm seeing the uh, Twitch panel. So everything's in a slightly different place. All right, because I want those changes in the save file for when it does the uh, new game plus. All right. Enough playing around. Let's uh let's do this. Leroy <laughs> That gate leads to the day of Lovos. If you wish to see the world destroy destroyed both from Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually came from there. Because if you remember, a couple of weeks ago we um uh, we went through via the Black Omen, defeated the outer shell of Lavos. And then we went on our little side quest, um, our little aside with the side quests. So now that that's done, we should be able to just go up into the shell. What dark sorcery is this? 1999 AD, date confirmed. 
It's time to party. Like, oh wait, no. Uh, the time is one twenty-four. This is the precise moment. Um, I thought this was supposed to. Uh, yeah, because we we beat Lavos once already, and that gate was supposed to take us back to where we left off. Do I have to defeat the outer shell again? <laughs> Offensive capabilities incalculable. Okay, yeah. Chrono, do you truly mean to do this? Yep. Let's go fight the headless monster. Mazamun, do not fail me now. Understood. Let us go. <laughs> that hole. Did we open that? Yeah, a while ago. I detect even more powerful life force within Lavos's shell. These plates are but its armor. What we need to destroy lies within. What lies within? Oh wait, no, that was something different. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the gate. <laughs> this is one dreadful place, even more ghastly than Magus's keep. According to my sensors, we are close to the core. That's the gate that I thought we were going to end up back at. And I know I just saved it, but uh, let's go ahead so that way we don't have to go through that again. Let's save it there. Not going to affect anything in terms of items and whatnot when we do our new game plus. All right. It's time to fight. Form number two. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that looks particularly evil. Amazing. It possesses the DNA of every organism that has ever dwelt on this planet. At least up until you were built. Iris, stand with me in this battle. So pretty much there are three critters. The, uh... Never mind. I'm going to refrain from commenting on that one. The left arm, the right arm, and the head. And honestly, um, oh, never mind. Let's do that. And sure, why not? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize Robo's health was down that low. Maybe I should have bought him some better armor. Doggone it. I'm going to pay for that, aren't I? I should add frog uh, on healing duty already. Yeah, basically I need to get the uh, the. All right, cure two. Let's uh, zap them again. I'm starting to wonder. I got to look at the damage output and see if there's a better better to do them individually. So that's twenty six twenty six hundred each arm, left and right. The center has high defenses until you kill both of the arms, so not too fussed about that. Let's try doing individual. Ooh, and let's go... Um, actually, let's go Cure Wave. Everybody's looking a little sad at the moment. So... 2,600. 600 more than attacking by himself. So unless Robo's Electrocute uh, only does 600 damage, which I find doubtful. It does seem to be a little bit better to uh, do these as individual attacks. So let's go ahead and Luminaire. And let's go ahead and electrocute. And let's go ahead and... Hold that for just a second. Yeah, so that's 2k. Plus another... 1500. Oh yeah, that's far better to do that. Uh, I'm going 
to keep that cure in reserve. Although I probably should toss another frog stomp on him. Hmm. I actually went a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Uh, or was this one I needed, um... Was this one I needed the physical attacks? I can't remember now. Alright, you know what? Oh! I thought Robo had the stuff that protected from status attacks. Oh, I'm gonna have to double check what Robo's got. Maybe I should have bought that stupid dragon armor. Roll embrace. Alright, uh, hmm. What do I have that will remove? Oh, no. He's back. Okay. Uh, so let's go aerial strike. And rapid fire fist. I was looking for Uzi Punch, the old name. Oh, I probably should have saved that last one, because uh, this looks like it's going to hurt. Yikes. Hang in there, Robo. Although Chrono's got rays, so that uh, that helps too. Get him. Um... Alright, so we'll go Frenzy, and we'll hit another Cure Wave. I have a funny feeling something that's going to hurt again is going to come up real quick. Although maybe we could have gotten away with the Cure too. I'll, I'll, I'll burn a, tuner, a turn on that. Aerial Strike. Rapid Fire Fist. We'll just keep grinding that along. <laughs> and a grind it is. Because the, uh, the head has a total of 20,000 hit points. And let's uh, hit him up with that. Let's try that just to see what it does. The psychedelic frog does 295. Never mind. That wasn't worth it. Alright, frenzy. Um Heal. Rapid fire fist. Eh, close enough. Okay. Yeah, so 20k. That me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was starting to try to do the math. Well, there's the sound of a watery and horrible death. That was Lavos's goal. What was Lavos's goal? You'll find out in the next episode. So uh, <laughs> thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There is a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow along to get notified when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.